Animating realistic movements with LEGO figures can be a meticulous and time-consuming process. My goal with my latest animation, Don't Forget the Popsicle, was to capture the unique style of the LEGO movies and to really make the characters come to life. So I wanted to share a couple of techniques I learned along the way and give you a glimpse into what goes into animating a video like this. One of the biggest challenges for this video was animating the shot where the giant mech stomps across the beach. Each frame took around 25 minutes to perfect because of all the moving parts in the scene, and after 9 hours of animating, I ended up with 1 second of footage. The ball joints on the mech posed a particular challenge, as it can't support its own weight and has very limited articulation. I used sticky tack to secure the left arm to the buildings so that it could stand upright, even when the foot was off the ground, and used the hinge on the top of the mech to shift the mech's center of gravity for each frame as needed. If this mech existed in real life at this scale, it would probably weigh a couple of tons. To simulate this in LEGO, I shifted the upper body over the foot that was down for each step so that the implied center of gravity was directly above that foot. Then as it shifts its weight to the other foot, that foot comes down fast as if gravity was pulling the thousands of pounds it was carrying. Another technique I want to share with you guys is something I learned from watching the trailer for the new LEGO Ninjago movie. It was a huge inspiration for Don't Forget the Popsicle, and as I was studying it shot by shot, I noticed that they accomplished almost every visual effect using nothing but LEGO bricks. Everything from the motion blur to the movement of Lloyd Garmadon's hair as he takes off his mask. For the shot where Lloyd zips off after the mech, I built a small minifigure sized motion blur out of spare LEGO bricks and animated it to follow Lloyd as he jumps away. You'll notice that I basically stretched out whatever colors are seen on Lloyd's right side for every frame. I also used a dark green bandana for intermediate frames in the mask flip. This helps to sell the motion and keeps things looking buttery smooth. You also probably noticed that the character's arms move in directions that their joints don't typically allow. This is a very handy trick for animating realistic motions with figures with such a limited range of motion. To do this, I popped the arms out of the socket and filled the torso with white sticky tack. This allows me to animate the arms out of socket while the ball joints rest on the sticky tack to keep them in place. Another interesting challenge was the selfie shot at the end of the video. I animated the scene twice, once from the front with a standard 55mm lens, and once from the back with a 24mm lens. This allowed me to get right up close to the figures while also maintaining a wide field of view just like the iPhone would have. I went frame by frame and matched the motion of the camera with the movements of the iPhone and animated the characters a second time as closely as possible to the original. Once I had the footage, I pixelated it, compressed the blacks and whites, added a few stylizing effects, and then tracked the footage onto the black Lego brick with a three frame delay just like you would see on an iPhone camera. The finishing touch was to add in the gold bar around the screen like you see in the Lego Ninjago movie trailer. <laughs> This past year, I've been working on a comprehensive LEGO animation tutorial series to answer many of your questions and to share all of the animation tips, tricks, and techniques I've learned over the years, so stay tuned for that. I've also got some exciting new animation projects in the works, so be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on them. Anyways, that's all, but be sure to leave a comment below and smash that like button. I try to respond to every question, so don't be shy. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.